Hello everybody and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello, hello. We are finally here. We are on the doorstep of SummerSlam, the biggest pay-per-view yet in the JFW. All kinds of action coming to you this Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC. But before we get there, we've got a lot to settle in the ring here on Friday. Stand firm in the Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. And first up, we are going to hear from a ma- uh, the much maligned Calcium Kaz. He has been really struggling against McNaughton, his former tag team partner, who stole his former tag team wife. And they're off on their own now. Calcium has time and again fallen on his face to get revenge until last week where he confronted McNaughton on a whim backstage and took him the fuck out. But it wasn't enough to knock McNaughton off course. He later, very, moments later, defeated Adonta Kellis to cement his match at SummerSlam for the world heavyweight title against Tony Place Poorly. But Calcium doesn't look to be quite done. And we are gearing up to go ringside with him right now. And I wonder what he's got on his mind. I know it's McNaughton, but how and in what capacity? Let's get to ringside and listen to the man himself. Here he comes, getting in the ring. Is my mic on? Have you turned my mic on yet? I've yeah, had to listen it... to for the last 20 seconds. We'll have a chat about what you've said a little bit later. But for now, I've got bigger fish to fry. So basically, I've called Jim's McMahon out here tonight. I understand he's a busy guy, so I'll keep this quick. If you think I'm going to sit back and allow McNaughton to become the JFW champion after he stole my wife with an illegal crane kick, yeah, not in this dojo. I've asked for nothing since joining the JFW. But give me this match or fire me right now, Jims, because unless you do, every time I get a chance, I'm going to sweep the leg and show no mercy, just as I did backstage to McNaughton last week. Did he just call out Mr. McMahon, Jim? I am Calcium Cass and I am deep throating a microphone. I think he did. The only thing and he's that still going for some reason. Still loves me now. When... <laughs> <laughs> right. Like... Oh, timing. <laughs> I've tasted what some would call defeat recently, okay? But, you know, defeat does not exist in this dojo. And the fight isn't over until I say it is. Just like Kreese, the founder of Cobra Kai, said during the All-Valley Championship, I need to finish him, and not in a weird way either, like punch him in the face, finish him. Okay, just want to clear <laughs> that up, all right? I'm not, um, I'm prepared to put my career on the line to do this, okay? You know, this, this is it for me, okay? I'm not going to become the Brooklyn brawler of the JFW. So when I win, he can do one, fuck off and walk 500 miles back to Scottish town without <laughs> Wendy, who will once again be where she belongs in my, do- in my dojo. Oh boy, and that is Jim McMahon's music. I think Calcium finally got under his skin. This is a very unwise maneuver by Calcium, calling out the big boss and he looks pissed about it. What's going to happen I here, folks? Calcium trying to put his career on the line for a shot at McNaughton, but McNaughton's already got a match. I don't know what's going to happen. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Why the hell? Who the hell do you think you are calling me out like this? You son of a bitch. Well, I tell you what, Calcium. You've got some balls on you. You'd better avoid Moradam. Because <laughs> you got a lovely set of balls. And I tell you what, I can I can respect your balls. So I tell you what, Calcium, you can put your career on the line at fucking SummerSlam and take on McNaughton. Okay, well, firstly, yeah, thank you for all the ball references. I really appreciate them. Because they weren't weird at all, were they? Okay, but yeah. Let's bring it on. Me and McNaughton for the last time. This is for all the apples, okay? If I lose, the doors to the JFW dojo close forever. If I win, McNaughton can get that stupid ass tattoo taken off his fucking chest. Yeah, that sounds reasonable, but one thing, Calcium, it's going to have to be a last man standing match. That suits me. 
No mercy. Last man standing match at SummerSlam. These two are still spewing insults at each other. Calcium getting everything he wants. I can't believe it. But McNaughton had a title match. What's going to happen? How's how, Who's going to face Tony now? Wow, they're just getting real personal there and whispering at each other now. I don't know why you're fucking whispering to me, Calcium, you fucking idiot. But I tell you what. <laughs> the main event match, that's a good point. That is, I just realized from Skoro Metal talking that. Gorilla Metal talking. The main event match, the fatal four-way, that it seemed like it was completely pointless. Well, that match will now determine who goes to SummerSlam to face Tony Place poorly for the goddamn title, the world heavyweight title. And McNaughton can fuck off and have his stupid little match with you. <laughs> and I don't care who wins, because either way, I don't care if I have to fire you or not. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Jim McMahon. I can't tell you how difficult this promo has been for a 20 second Twitch delay, okay? It's a nightmare, but I appreciate everything you've given for me. And I don't even know if I'm talking or not right now. So I'm just gonna say some shit. You know, this microphone's playing up. I'm gonna leave the ring. I'm gonna kick McNaughton's ass and I'm gonna make you proud. No mercy. Oh, you timed that really well, actually. <laughs> okay, good, see ya. <laughs> Well, what do you know? Calcium called his shot and he got it, but he's going to have to win a match or lose his career in the JFW. Unbelievable stuff. McNaughton's got to be fuming backstage right now. Had his world one. title How match Scotland stripped away to have to face a guy next. he's beaten a half dozen times in the past. But that's how Mr. Jim McMahon rolls. You can hear him focusing on Calcium's balls, and that's what's on Jim's mind, and, and Calcium put him on the table. So there you go. But bigger news now. Our main event was a four-way elimination match between Dave Flicky Flack um, and W.R. Spenning and some other person. <laughs> oh, Dante Kellis, obviously. And now the winner of that match will go on to SummerSlam to get a title shot against Tony Plays Poorly. Unbelievable stuff. We are going to leap right into the action now. Our plum plum loserweight division is getting red hot. And we've got Ghoul Face Killer, the plum plum loserweight champion, facing antsy and, and bleeding hippie. The two men who fell just a little bit short of going to SummerSlam, they're still going to get a chance to impress because they have been excellent competitors thus far. Will Ghoulface Killa flop again on a pre-title defense uh, match, or will he shine and go into SummerSlam with all of the momentum? Find out in just a minute. Glorious. Good work. Good work, Gorilla Metzo. I tried to oh, fucking... Hey, Jim, where are you then? <laughs> I tried to fucking turn off the things. I was desperately trying to turn off all the alerts and everything. <laughs> I turned off wow. lots of stuff and I still couldn't bloody stop it. Oh, gosh. Fuck's well, sake. Well, thank you. Thank you, Calcium, for uh, for joining in on that one. Um, wow, that sure was something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Calcium. <laughs> And here comes Ansi. I really thought he had a shot at that title, and I think there is one in his future, but he's going to have to wait a little bit because <laughs> right now he is the he is on the outside looking in at the Plum 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 <laughs> Weight Championship, but he's got a chance to make a you huge mark right now if shit. he could pin the champ or just win this match. Yep. Yeah. It's true. Fuck's sake. Oh, I should just up the. I should up the minimum. I was trying to turn it off. I should have just literally up the minimum. That uh, that would have been all right. Okay, good. That's that sorted. Bloody hell, McNaughton! Oh, looks like McNaughton. It looks like we found a way to turn you off, dipshit. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, though, McNaughton. For fuck's sake! <laughs> oh shit, he gave you bits. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, I'm an asshole. No, it's all right. <laughs> he knows he was being a dipsh. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't actually know he was doing doing bits. I thought he was just doing audio. Yeah, I didn't even look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that was the first thing I've ever moderated in this channel, and it'll probably be the last. 
<laughs> as soon as McNaughton reclaims its 75 cents or whatever. <laughs> Oh, and there's Tom Schnitz. He's got a big night ahead of him and ass-kicking backstage by Skurametsu. And Flicky Flax, uh, PR person is in the chat. Hello, Flicky Flack. And now that it, we've just had news from Jims McMahon himself that that main event that you're in, Flicky Flack, will become, will be for the chance to face Tony Plays Bully at SummerSlam in two days. Yeah, time. no pressure, Flicky Flack. You've been on a tear, sir. But you got to get a win tonight, and you're going to SummerSlam for a title shot against Tony Plays Poorly. This just dropped in our laps. I don't even know how to handle this. We're going to figure out who's getting a tag team title match later on tonight. Uh, what a show we've got in store. Yeah, boy. Sorry, Zoom, <laughs> but uh, I had to change that to stop McNaughton. <laughs> 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 I did answer because um because I I fucked it up I fucked it up I don't, I, I don't know how to explain it again Flicky Jim explained it and I explained it <laughs> and here he is the Blim Blom Cruiserweight Champion he has not been in the ring in a good long while but he looks uh, true to form as uh, high as a kite and ready to fly. <laughs> he really does. He's, he's some say he's Skurometsu spirit animal. animal. <laughs> <laughs> this really should have been Skuro's entrance, shouldn't it? <laughs> nah, I'm, not that kind, I'm not that kind of stoner. All right. <laughs> I just fall asleep and become even more addle brain than I already am. <laughs> <laughs> mostly, as I've gotten older, it's mostly just fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pesel! That'll show, that'll teach him to ever give Jim money again. <laughs> what an idiot. And here we go, our triple threat is off. <laughs> oh. I was uh, I was dozing during that last match of yours in Blood Bowl, Jim. It was uh, kind of a snoozer. Yeah. Uh, so I made a pot of coffee, and now my heart is, like, leaping through my brain. So <laughs> this is going to be a good one. Glorious. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm watching on delay. I'm watching on delay. I'm watching on delay. Okay, now I'm live. Woo. Yeah, hippie, hippie, adding new levels to his uh, springboard misses. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Ever the professional antsy, bringing it right back into form. You know, between these three guys, we've almost got a single normal wrestling kit. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah. Not not quite though. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> oh, we don't, I don't. We didn't speed anything up, Kill. No. No. These are the plim plom pluser weights. They are our super lightweight division, or they are. Or excuse me. I guess they'd be like a featherweight division or cruiserweight. That's the word we're looking for. They are a cruiserweight division, so they're just naturally faster than the big men. Yeah. Though strangely, cruiser in wrestling is different to cruiser in boxing. Yeah, isn't it like welterweight in boxing? Uh, well, I mean, it, it probably would be cruiserweight because they're still pretty fucking heavy. But in boxing, it's light heavy, then cruiser, then heavy. Whereas it goes uh, either okay. way in, uh, in, in <laughs> The double drop kicks, neither connecting, and then they just <laughs> pass right, two ships passing in the night there. <laughs> Why is a referee? That's a good question. He's still got to count, hasn't he? He's still got to do the one, two, three. Neck or impotence to see who wins. Yeah, there are no count outs in a triple threat match, but a ref does need... Oh, gosh. Wow, <laughs> we're... Everyone's a little bit off tonight. I think uh, Ghoulface might have hit up their locker rooms too, pre-show. 
<laughs> oh. All that really matters in the JFW is that oh. you are bound. Oh, look at that. Quick, uh, quick arc play. Oh, there. Uh, in the JFW, your weight dictates what title you can compete for. You cannot compete down the ladder. You can only go up. So a Plum Plum Pluserweight, effectively, if they were suicidal, could even compete for the heavyweight or the super heavyweight titles. Oh, they can go straight up and down. But if you're a heavyweight, you can't go down to the light heavyweight or cruiserweight divisions. Yeah. <laughs> but the super heavyweight isn't necessarily the most prestigious. See, that's the, that's the beauty of it. Well, we know that for certain, with a certainty now. I am glad we agree on that, Jim, because right now we basically have a vacant title because hashtag not my champion, Jimmy Min Max Tastic, is still holding on to that title and uh, basically, uh, basically rendering it uh, meaningless. No, he's he's the best wrestler and he's the best champ, and that's perfect, isn't it? Whatever you got to tell yourself to get through the through the day, Jim. <laughs> a massive gun <laughs> Indeed, you were, Chip. Oh, and God, now this crazy. one's heating up a little bit. Hippie uh, maybe wants to protect that pinfall more so than celebrate <laughs> on the turnbuckle. Does both. And here we go. Hippie has a good advantage right now. Hasn't taken a ton of damage other than that which he's inflicted upon himself. <laughs> yep. But that's but that's par for the course with Hippie, so It really is. Oh boy. What a laugh. <laughs> oh Flicky, you haven't even gotten your title shot yet. <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> oh god and this is what poisons poisons the competitive spirit of the jfw <laughs> so who's fighting who here for what this is gorilla gorilla no it's not it's gfk i don't know why i said gorilla it just started with a g ghoul face killer i'm um, lying on the floor there with ghoul face killer written on him <laughs> bleeding hippie with his uh massive uh Fucking Harry Potter tattoo, and uh, Ansi with Ansi written on him, looking like very much like Danny Dyer. Oh, look at this quick pinfall here by Goldface oh. killing the trend steal it. Generally speaking, kill Matronics. If you need to know who someone is, you have about a sixty percent chance of finding out by looking at their ass in the <laughs> JFW. And there will be one of three things that will happen. You will see their name written on it. In which case, that is who they are. If you do not see their name written on it, it's probably written somewhere within a foot of their ass. And if you see a literal fucking asshole, you're looking at Bezel. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's exactly it. <laughs> and this is... Uh, this, this match... It's not really a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's fantastic. Well, thank you. I am I am known for my mic uh my mic skills. He Not really my is. name recognition so much. <laughs> <laughs> Memory recall and name recognition. Spotty. <laughs> Talking out of my ass for five minutes. Pretty solid. Yeah. The second arc layo from Ansi. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty weak though. Those those little like secondary ones that do. Oh, but here's a pin that could get somewhere. Oof. Just a two count, but a pretty good two count. Ansi has all sorts of an advantage. Hippie, oh <laughs> well, had all sorts of an advantage. Hippie now crawling to his feet. Oh, the ref almost took a big bump there. Oh, but here nice. comes Ansi fighting back, and now they're both teaming up on the champ. <laughs> And that champ has to roll out of the ring to recover. This is a good chance for one of these two to steal a win here. And it looks like it could be Hippie. Big Lariat folds them over. Does he go for the pinfall? He does. Oh. Just a two count again. Ansi's going to have It's going to take a little bit more than that to put him away. And it looks like Hippie is lining up something that is a little bit more. His finisher coming. Ghoulface killing oh, him. Not in a this position to stop this pin. Hippie, oh wait, no, now Ghoulface stirring. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, the two count <laughs> kick out. Ghoulface wasn't gonna make it in time. Ansi saves himself and the match continues. 
Yeah, the DDT should be a finisher, shouldn't it? Like, it's crazy that it just became a normal move. Yep. Put Hippies outside, so this is a good chance for somebody oh, to win. Oh, what a move there. Yeah. Into the pin. He's got him. Oh, no. The last second kick out by Ghoul, Face Killer, staying alive. He's got a little bit more fight in him than he did last time. He had a uh, pay-per-view title defense looming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> fair, you fair enough. Hide oh, the superplex outside of the ring today. onto that nine feet of <laughs> concrete Harambe underneath a small pad. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> I better rub it again. I thought that would have stopped you. <laughs> oh god, is that actually talking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I don't the funny thing is I don't actually hear the voiceover, so it all it does is talk over me. Yeah. So I don't know if they're if they're happening or not. Yeah, yeah, it's disappointing, isn't it? But never mind. Oh dear, right. I'll... Uh, whatever, we could probably get uh, this month's rent for you, Jim, uh, <laughs> if we keep antagonizing <laughs> McNorton. Yeah, just McNorton trying. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, and this match, oh god, the Plim Plum Cruiserweight division, just always a delight. They have a long history of just stunning, stunning matches right before a pay per view. And uh, Ghoulface Killer doesn't get enough credit for being one of the longest reigning champions, if not the current. Oh, uh, him and the Rats are about the equal in uh, in title reigns right now. Yeah. And uh, Ghoulface Killer has never lost his title. The Rats lost and and won their titles back. Yeah. And Tony also lost and won his title back. So yeah, Ghoulface does have that championship pedigree that no one else in the JFW can complain does not get enough recognition for that, in my opinion. And, whoa, we're stacking <laughs> men's outside the ring right now. Yeah. Oh, God, there's a bit of brainworms with the air tossing them into the chair, into the stairs all the time. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Rebel bands for all. Oh, wait, that's not a punishment. <laughs> 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 That's pretty great. Oh, what's this? Oh, God, what a maneuver. Oh, and here comes a pinfall. I was letting my dog in. <laughs> oh, Ansi too tough. GFK on the outside. Oh, boy, what's this? It, it's The answer is always me, McNaughton. <laughs> Man, our, <laughs> Clavius, were he still around, would have to be filing uh, several uh, <laughs> several uh, 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 trademark infringements here for the amount of moves of his being used by the Plim Plum Pluserweights tonight. <laughs> yeah, that is Bleeding Hippie Necropotence. Uh, Known as the Harry Potter of the Blood Bowl world, best known I think for his antics in in Rebel, uh, but former former Blood Bowl streamer. Haven't seen him stream in a while, but uh, always a uh, stalwart fighter in the Plim Plum Pluser weight division. Oh, the Spanish Fly countered. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad for Bullface Killer. And Ancy just watched and let it happen. Now <laughs> well, we've got a collar and elbow lockup. And now Hippie with those big right forearms, spinning right forearm as well. He is on fire, oh self rock goodness. bottom, and now all of a sudden, Ghoulface Killer is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh God, is, could this be it? Oh, look at this turnaround. <laughs> Just the two count. Man, I feel like we've seen Hippie and Ghoulface Killer go at it a lot in the JFW, yet never for the title, if I recall correctly. No, I believe that's correct. You know, you know, Hippie was just on such a tear leading up to this. I'm really surprised he couldn't make it through those uh, those triple threats. But uh, here he is, the odd man looking out, antsy right next to him. 
Uh, <laughs> but surely they'll one of these guys, the winner of this match, were it not to be Ghoulface Killer, would be making a lot of noise in the weeks to come. Absolutely. <laughs> You're a wrestler, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, oh, this is Oh, Auntie, look at this. Oh, Lawn darts him into that middle turnbuckle. That is going to rattle your brain. And here's a pin. Oh! Another two count. No one wants to give in tonight. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, and this is uh, Ooh, oh, that big it. backstabber by Hippie. In for a pin. This could this be could it, be, Jim. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> ah, the resilience on display, but Hippie looking to end it. Ghoulface Killer needs to get his wits back about him. He is completely out of it. Oh. Another finisher, and this that's going to be it for Ancy if Ghoulface can't break this up. This is it. It's got to be. Yeah, and it is. Looks like Ghoulface took a look at, at, at how much damage he'd taken. He definitely gave his all in that match, unlike his last performance. <laughs> but when you come to the end there, he's a bit groggy. What's the point of continuing a match when he's got nothing really to lose but a little bit of momentum? But there you go, bleeding Hippie with a very assertive win to take this match. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of bleeding Hippie in the coming weeks in the Plim Plum Loserweight division. Oh, yeah. Very impressive. <laughs> <Aviator Spandex. laughs> uh, I think it's I think it's Night of Champions on Scene Walker, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna clue I'm gonna clue. I think it's Night of Champions, it's probably like the first weekend of September. Mm. Oh, well done, hippie. Unbelievable stuff. And next up it's the snackers. We've got the match everyone's waiting for. Thought this would have been the main event, but now our new main event is a massive, massive ramifications, but we'll get there right now. We have had confirmation the winner of this match is going to SummerSlam to challenge the fucking rats for the two heads titles. We don't know any other stipulations about that match, but we know that one of these two teams will be in. All they have to do is win it. Will it be the Unnatural Snackers with Muppet Pac-Man in their corner or the always complaining dressed for business? Lemon is good and Fan Fox. They are coming out next. Oh yeah, yeah. They were pretty. It was pretty fun, wasn't it? The Elimination Chamber all day days. Might do some more JFW days just randomly. Yeah, I really. The the problem with the Elimination Chamber that we always run into is that you can't add it as a match without it being that pay per view, right, Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll so be like, in a different stadium randomly. Yeah, so like we can do like a an eight man elimination match for the titles in any pay-per-view we want, but we can't add an elimination match to like SummerSlam effectively. Yeah. Which I mean, is just a little bit of a shame. You can, it or would just look you... shit. Oh yeah, cause it would be SummerSlam, but it wouldn't be SummerSlam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if whining was the only criteria for contendership, Lemon would be up for every belt. <laughs> All right, and the the war of words has spilled into the chat. We expected it, even though Lemon is Good is not present tonight in chat. Here we go. The unnatural snackers are bringing the party and bringing the cards. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Incredible hey, stuff. You just can't, you can't help but smile and feel excited. <laughs> When this amazing tag team makes it down the ring, the unnatural snackers, Muppet Pac-Man, a very welcome addition to this team, cheering them on from the sidelines. And he has got to also be thinking about SummerSlam. He's got a plim plum loser weight match awaiting him, a triple threat. And we just saw Ghoulface Killer lose. We've got Muppet Pac-Man in and also just Joe once again competing for that title that has eluded him thus far should be a hell of a match. Absolutely, yeah. Can't wait. 
And you only have to wait a little bit longer, Jim, because SummerSlam is coming straight to Twitch pay-per-view, whatever that is, <laughs> at 8 p.m. UTC on Sunday. It is, yeah. And somebody's made an amazing poster for it as well. <laughs> I have not signed off on the poster, folks. There it is, look. That's brilliant. I can't see it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Recently added, Calcium Kaz now has his match at SummerSlam. We're seeing all the champions there. We're seeing Ardvac, the uh, the money in the ass holder who unfortunately has to defend his contract against Table Egg Wanger of Team Fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Only fun. laughs> Don't forget to jump up and watch some of the <laughs> Oh, That's yes. Good. And That's let good. us go. We have been talking about this one for a long Ooh. time, and it is now in front of us. I Lemon thought that was good. A, some kind of five. Scene, but it wasn't. <laughs> And Johnny Five is on a tear, big running drop kick. And oh no, Lemon wants nothing to yap. We would expect about that kind of attitude from Lemon is good. Tags in Fan Fox after just one physical hit by J Five, and now J Five gets to work on Fan Fox. Yeah, last time it was weird, wasn't it? Uh, Satterfield had taken no damage and randomly uh, tapped out. I don't know what was going on there. So now this is the the rematch that was kind of deserved. And well, was... you can you can talk about motivations of wrestlers, Jim, but you know every now and then you can be as healthy as you want. You get put in an arm bar and you feel like your arms coming out. If you don't think that match is going to cost you your your goals in the business, you might as well tap sometimes. Just like our world heavyweight champion Tony Plays Poorly says, give up sometimes. <laughs> yep, that's very true. Good job he did. his business isn't like granting 300 make-a-wishes. <laughs> yeah, that would not be the best message to send to those kids. <laughs> well, you've got pancreatic cancer, so... You could either give up now or spend the next three months of a life that you'll never really understand uh, suffering and then die. Oh, God. <laughs> Just give up sometimes. <laughs> oh, look at that massive knee of the face. Yeah, Satterfield might have sorted himself out just a little bit uh, after last week showing big kick. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> He got a good kick for Fan Fox and another one for the turnbuckle. <laughs> oh, huge pan flapjack, isn't it? Flapjack, pancake. Whatever. Yes, uh, yes, a flapjack. Good call, Jim. Glorious. <laughs> oh, another freaking massive knee at the chops. Yeah. Calcium, or excuse me, calcium. Uh, Satterfield, uh, yeah, one of one of the bigger, you know, non freakishly non human competitors in the JFW makes a lot of use of those long meat like legs, tree trunk legs of his, uh, for some big kicks and some big knees that you would not expect a man in tight jeans to be able to pull off. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and, and true to form on the Unnatural Snackers, you've got top rope, Johnny. You don't look at him as a high flyer, but he's one of the highest and flyingest in the JFW. <laughs> oh, boy, and Fan Fox ate the rope by accident, but he seems to have passed it, and now he's working over J5 after a quick tag in. <laughs> oh, dear. Johnny Thighs likes to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Fireman's carry gets J5 back in charge here. Dragon Fan Fox over to his own corner to work on him a bit more. And tagging in the big man. Muppet waving those snake hands around like an idiot. <laughs> the yak ass. Very good, Vesla. Fruit 
The Foxy is not a deer stalker. Oh no, he comes out in a in a in a hat, doesn't he? At first, he's an equestrian businessman, obviously. <laughs> Duh! You fucking idiot! <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He's an equestrian. He's an equestrian fox businessman. I meant to say. Equ equestrian, like a horse rider. <laughs> <laughs> An equestrian. It's like equestrian, but on the internet, obviously. Oh, brilliant. And here we go, the slingshot into the rope. Satterfield having some trouble again now. Lemon is good, cherry picking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh look at this tag move coming up oh big big maneuver onto the arm but satterfield counters oh look at this side suplex and he's fired up now and stomping right on his fucking dick <laughs> oh my god brutal <laughs> you should drink coffee before jmw morgan elements <laughs> Fair enough, Jim. Fair enough. I'm not going to sleep tonight now. <laughs> have, you, have you ever noticed how tiny Satterfield's feet are? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here comes the black mask. He's giving fan fucks a good look at those tiny feet. And he connects with the black mask. But I don't think he's going to be able to get a pinfall without Lemon is good interrupting here. No, Lemon right there, wasn't no, he? Yeah, J5 a little slow. Decides to do a little run on those ropes for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Lemon saving the match there. Fanfox trying to come back. Uh, having none of it is Satterfield. <laughs> uh, well, one of them's an upper and one of them's a depressant vessel. <laughs> <laughs> and, and other than those few notable fuck ups, I've almost never been high for JFW. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's 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 this guy? He's just wandering around. Is uh, he's just making sure all the corners of the ring are uh, properly maintained, Jim. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, I know, Flicky. I've been struggling with that too. <laughs> it's just like when the Norse cons come out. All I can do is look at their matching happy trails. <laughs> it's, it's like I cannot avoid it. <laughs> Probably like an Altoid J5, not not change. He was looking for a white Twix that had fallen out of his pocket. <laughs> Fucking lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in all fairness to him, you can't make that old. Well, you know what small feet means. Although the half Boston Crab, we've oh. seen this at matches before illegitimately. No, it was totally legitimate. <laughs> it beat the greatest. Oh, well, you sure showed me. Anyway, as I was saying, the euphemism that men with small feet have a small dick does not apply to Satterfield. You can see his gigantic goddamn crotch on full display in this match. <laughs> Bigger than my goddamn leg. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, is he going to do... Is, he oh, is. Oh, he it's is a, a second... big running knee. Yeah. Oh, God this is going to be brutal. Might bust him open. Didn't bust him open, but he did press him down, making his lemonade. <laughs> but now the question is, will J5 be asked to get in the ring and defend another pinfall? He's really bad at doing that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that stump. 340 pounds or whatever center field is. <laughs> brutal. Oh, oh, but please. a dragon screw counter and Lemon is good. Might want to think about tagging out. J5 gets the hot tag. Lemon does absolutely nothing and pays for his laziness. <laughs> oh, God, look at this from J5 dominating stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's on fire. J5 has had to listen to Lemon is good for fucking weeks now <laughs> and is clearly sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the monkey flip and he goes up top oh. rope spins around oh, oh hits the flying crossbody in for the pin 
No. Just the two count. J5 kicks out. We would have never <laughs> heard the end of that, folks. <laughs> oh, oh, top rope Johnny. No, no. He thought better if it saw him stirring. And look at this. A little bit of restraint by Johnny 5. You don't see that often, especially when he's typing on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Casual kick to the face then. Oh, well, we're having a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a breather for J5. I think he's checking out some woman in the front row there. <laughs> it sure looks like it. <laughs> and that bought uh Lemon is good enough time to get those quick kicks in and recover, but no, oh. the spinning neck breaker by J5. <laughs> well, you can tell both these teams want to go to SummerSlam. But oh, short of oh, oh no, J5, the critical error, the shake, rattle, and roll. We've seen this end matches for the Unnatural Snackers before. Oh, shit. Oh, no, he's calling for the triple powerbomb. Ref not doing anything about it. Muppet Pac-Man is in the ring. Triple powerbomb on. Lemon is good. Oh, the ref, the ref intimidated, doesn't mind the outside interference and the pin coming in, but now... Oh, it looks like uh, Muppet Pac-Man ejected from the arena, but the pinfall delayed. <laughs> oh, my God. The unnatural snackers have won it. Lemon is good. Pin and good Lord, we're going to have to listen to that cunt for months. <laughs> Oh my god, I think we should just add them both to SummerSlam so we can weather that storm. <laughs> Maybe. We'll have to see what happens in our very next match. The fucking rats, the two heads champions are defend not defending, they are in a match against the team that just debuted and just beat them last week. Cock and ball torture. If cock and ball torture win, I think they're going to SummerSlam too. We have not heard confirmation of that, but you gotta believe. But right now, unnatural snackers, big celebration. They know they punched their ticket to SummerSlam, and we will have to wait and see. We'll have to get a ruling from on high about that illegal uh, entrance into the ring by Muppet and Pac Man. But hey, you gotta let the refs do their jobs. And in this case, the ref chose to eject Muppet, but not punish the team. So we'll see what becomes of that. <laughs> Absolutely. Literally the worst thing that could have happened for either of us ever <laughs> reading the hashtag wrestling discord ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, someone, someone send Captain Melons the information on signing up for the JFW. There you go. There you go. You can sign up there. <laughs> All right. Well, the literal fucking goblin Moradam, Cocky, and their manager Sheila are going round two against the fucking rats, Chunter and Finny, the two heads champions. They have been just some of the best in the JFW as a tag team as champions. They are going to SummerSlam with the intent of keeping their titles, but their balls might not make it on that trip because they are up against Cock and Ball Torture next. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, Cocky and uh, Moradam, the newly formed tag team, and they, they've already beat the uh, the rats last week, didn't they? And now they're uh, going to try to beat them again. That's right. My name is Gorilla Metso, and that's Jim saying everything I just said, only slower. <laughs> yep, yeah, and in English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we both speak English, my friends. Well, kind of. <laughs> I do say literal, not literal. <laughs> okay, well done. <laughs> and I got a wicked smart accent, kid. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a Boston accent at all. <laughs> well, I guess I have more of a Boston accent than anyone listening that isn't from Boston, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by the standards of the area I've lived almost my entire life, I do not have one. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> After this match, will be the neutered rats. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, and there they are. <sighs> Cock and ball torture. They are 1-0 and in the JFW. They didn't compete earlier this week, right? They just have that one win? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Two wins and a title shot would be something but when those two wins are against the guys with the titles it's hard to deny them <laughs> oh, <dear me. laughs> Captain Helens <laughs> oh, dear. Sounds like a Sounds like Major Guns. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Mallet. I didn't, I didn't even make that association. <laughs> well, it looks like you're being added into the women's division that we don't have, Melons. <laughs> but at least it'll say Captain Melons on your butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we go. Cocky versus Chunter. Yeah. Whew. Fucking hell, I'm a sweaty bastard today, I tell you. Uh, well, the last time we saw the fucking rats lose a match, it was a similarly meaningless match shortly before a pay-per-view. But this one, I don't think is all that meaningless. I think Chunter and Finney know they've already got to deal with the unnatural snackers, and you know Muppet Pac-Man's going to be present. Well, maybe he's going to be present won't be present because they won't allow it in that match because the game is stupid. Regardless, they don't know that. They're just a video game. <laughs> Point being, they don't want to have to defend against more than one tag team. So they've got to be motivated to win this match. And that's Jim dying slowly in the background. <laughs> oh, you're fantastic. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, sounds like Captain Melons wants uh, Jim to make him a character in Nutsguro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ref takes a huge bump there. Chunter in trouble. More damn tagged in. We could see a ball shot early here. No ref to stop it. Wait, he's stirring. Nope. And the literal fucking goblin takes a falcon arrow. And things have normalized. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, she did answer, yeah. Pretty good as well. <laughs> Whoa. She really does have major guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, women, I mean, we can make a women's division. Uh, there's not many, though, at the moment. So, Well, there's 16, no. but they're all shit. Well, not all shit, but loads of them are shit. <laughs> I think I'll delete eight of them in just time. Yeah, in, in all fairness, I think nothing against women's wrestling. I love women's wrestling as much as anyone. I love intergender wrestling too. But I don't think there's enough space in terms of custom wrestlers that can keep everyone happy, keep a full roster for all the shows we run, and support a women's division when we have zero female viewers. Yeah. Well, we've got, we've got like two. Me and Khalifa yeah. doesn't count, Jim. Pardon? Oh yeah, Me three. Me and Khalifa does three. not count. <laughs> Four, uh, though she stopped the the or oh, the bot that stole her account has stopped. We had Ariana Marie as well for a while. I don't know who that is, but okay. She's a uh, well. You can you can search for her Twitch, and then you'll be you'll you know you'll find out who she is. <laughs> she is a she is an adult actress. Nah, okay. But I'm sure it was just her, you know, I'm just sure, it was, I'm sure it was her account that had been stolen by a bot. Gotcha. Yeah, the women do soon leave, yeah. That's I don't true. know why, I mean, look at the action in the ring, you've got a man in a pee stained diaper beating up on a rat furry. <laughs> yeah, being watched by a literal fucking goblin. <laughs> you know, no you cannot, Captain Melons. <laughs> <laughs> the more sh the more shit it is, the less chance it is to get made as well. So <laughs> bear that in mind. <laughs> like humorous yeah. chimps one that yeah. he made. <laughs> it was just fucking horrible. 
<laughs> Generally speaking, we try to keep things somewhat not freakishly unhuman with a few uh, with a few uh, meme related uh, exceptions. Yeah. <laughs> The bigger, the bigger, however, I will say this, the bigger a, a, a Patreon fan of Jim's you are, <laughs> the better chances you have of getting exactly what you want, because he's exceptionally bribable. <laughs> yep, absolutely. If you, and if you send me 20 quid in a packet of biscuits, <laughs> then you can get whatever the fuck you want. You <laughs> get your own goddamn show <laughs> yeah. that no one wants to watch. <laughs> What I would recommend to you, Captain Melons, is that you find your way to JimmyFantastic.com or YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic. Find all of the past shows of the JFW and search out a niche for you to compete in. Are you a plim plum loserweight? Are you a tag team specialist? Do you think you want to lose to Jimmy Minmax Tastic in the super heavyweight division? It's all up to you. You just got to go look, watch, like, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, glorious. What a salesman. Yep. Oh, and Finney with that big kick into the into the corner. And now Cocky in some serious trouble over in the fucking rat's corner. <laughs> trying to fight his way out though. And he does, and now it's ooh, now it's Finney in trouble. Yeah. And Moradam tagged in. Oh, we're gonna see some big high impact uh Oh yep, that, that double axe handle to the arm, wearing that down. Devastating double axe handle. But he hasn't been able to capitalize. Oh, brutal knee to the back from Finney. I think he'd want to tag, wouldn't you? Yeah, he does. He gets yeah, it. Yeah, he does. Good. And now we're going to see Chunter again. He's had a nice rest. And looks yeah. like he's taking more of one as he's doing nothing to Moradam just yet. Now <laughs> he stands him up. Oh, no, Moradam had enough can... time. Oh, look at this. A Frankensteiner. Yep. And then he's just gonna <laughs> stand there. I think we're I think we're gearing up for a testicle shot in a second. I think we could be. Tries to roll out of the ring. Chunts are preventing it. And look oh, at this God. roll up pin here. Oh, Cocky breaks it up by punching his own tag team uh, partner <laughs> and gets suplex. Now all hell breaking loose oh. here. The DDT on Moradam. No one to save anything now. Mordam in some trouble, trying desperately to fight back. Gets that DDT off, but has no one to tag out to. And he is staggered. So he's going to stand there and try and recover that way. <laughs> yep. Oh, huge shoulder tackle. Kick to the midsection. Oh, it's the... <laughs> Crystal walls of Chunterino. Yeah, we've never seen this end matches before, Jim. We haven't. We actually haven't. That's shit, isn't it? And sure enough, Mordam reverses it into a pin. Really got it. Oh, but oh, now Finny, yeah, back. Finny or Chunter fighting back, and now everything breaks up again, and we have devolved once again. No. Oh! Oh, look at this small package by Chunter, and he gets hit in the small package by Cocky. <laughs> As Finney was distracting the referee in a terrible, terrible yeah. decision. <laughs> and Chunter letting him get that close for a tag out really needs to isolate Moradam here. Doesn't seem to be in a rush to do so, though. No. Some prime brain worms here. Yep. Yeah. Works over that leg, though. Oh, he's a bit tired. Again, he knows he's going to have to defend his title in just two days' time. That's got to be wearing on him. Yeah. But he does not want to add these two to that match. <laughs> no, he's actually going to tag. Yep, Moradam getting the oh, tag God. out too, Cocky. Chunter decides to regather himself outside of the ring and go right back in after Cocky. Big suplex here. No, Cocky knees his way out of it <laughs> and goes for the ref. That was unexpected. 
<laughs> unexpected turn. Maybe, maybe thinking to keep the ref on his toes, better hide in a uh, testicle shot. But here's a pin, just the one count on Cocky. And now Cocky finds himself in trouble after just tagging in. That's yep. not where you want to be, Jim. No, and Sheila's gone walk about again. <laughs> no, yep, Sheila doing doing her little uh, her thing, <laughs> trying to get the crowd going, I guess. <laughs> oh, and Chuck Finney is ready yep. to do something. Yep, Finney looks to be doing his bloody Sunday finisher, Whew. and into the pin here. Chunter right there to guard the pin. Oh, oh no, Chunter! I thought Chunter hit the ref, but it was actually a kick out by Cocky. And Finney is just going to keep working over. And now, oh, Mordam getting getting power bombed. Oh, and now the fucking rats are true to form here. They are on fire. This could be the end. Cocky's desperate to fight out with a European uppercut. Oh, and there it is. Finney continuing his advantage. Needs to get another pin in as quick as he can before Mordam recovers. But Cocky says, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yes, friends. Captain Melons, 2K19 is the one you would want, not 20. Yeah, 20 is awful. Yeah, I think, well, I don't think there will be any future WWE 2K games. Whatever game comes next probably won't be via 2K. Yeah. But Maybe no one that goes indie game stage. is getting made, eh? There's not going to be anything next year is pretty much what everyone seems to know. Yep. Oh, and another one, those big running that... Oh, Ooh. yep, there it is. Is he going to go up top two, go for the coup de grace? No, he just goes right Mordam. over the pin. Mordam. Oh, oh and Cocky saves himself. Mordam just getting up onto the apron. And now this match is resetting a little bit. Cocky is getting to his feet. He's about to take a big high-impact move here. Oh, <laughs> Another bloody Sunday, but Mordam will be able to interfere with this pin. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. The ref gets taken out by Chunter in the yeah. crossfire. Yeah. Incredible. Oh, Cocky manages to get a... Manages to get a... Uh, a counter. <laughs> Good job, Jim. And now, <laughs> and now Finney stomping on Cocky. Still the ref back in place. Finney taking it all in right now. He's feeling it. I don't know why he's feeling so confident, though. Yeah. Nope, he's just tired. Taking a little breather outside, folks. We've seen this end matches before. <laughs> he certainly has. Dimmy G in the house. He heard that there was maths after the show. So he's found his way here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's the sharpshooter. Yeah, and then now Finney all of a sudden finds himself in a hell of a spot. Will he tap? No help coming. Oh, this could be it. Scratching at the at the mat to try and get away. And he finally finds a way to kick Cocky off of him. And his legs have got to be hurting him now, though. Oh, oh but the yeah. self brock bottom. <laughs> Oh, and oh, the quick, the hot tag to Mordam, and now things are really firing up here. Finney needs to get Chunter in real bad. <laughs> well, maybe he doesn't. <laughs> Mordam baiting and switching there. Oh, still in. oh, there's the testicular claw. There's the testicular claw. <laughs> and now will we see the follow-up by Mordam? Nope, he's just going to bail. Oh, no, he's going top rope. Finney on the outside. Oh, boy. Oh, something big coming here. Oh, come No, he misses. Finney, last second, gets out of the way. And now he's going to drop him right on the hardest part of the ring. Brutal. Could be a count out. No, maybe. Hey, Dave, welcome aboard. I don't know if you've heard the news, but you are in a four-way elimination match in the main event tonight. And if you can win it, you will be getting a shot at SummerSlam against Tony Plays Poorly for the World Heavyweight title because McNaughton's title shot was voided by Mr. Jim's McMahon so that Calcium could put his career on the line for one last match. 
I'm so good at this gorilla man so I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, remember when you were like three months ago and you're like, I'm just going to watch wrestling once a day and get better at it? Yeah, I didn't do that, yeah. I know you didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also don't think it would have helped as much as you think. <laughs> I think it would have helped. It would have been better than yep. <laughs> There's a huge uh, and, ball shot, though. Yeah, I missed, I missed the ball shot. And the oh. ref... The ref must have missed it too, because he didn't call it a disqualification, but Shunter able to kick out. Yep. <laughs> and this is a hell of a match. I, I gotta tell you, as much as I love the, you know, as much as I love what the fucking rats have done for months now, uh, I kind of want to see cock and ball torture go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them on a pay-per-view, but I don't know. There's a code breaker. Cocky's Cocky, not even bothering. Cocky not bothered, <gasps> and uh, didn't he knows more damn pretty damn well, it seems. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Busted him. Oh. Yeah, big those feet. big clawed feet. Yep. In stark contrast to Satterfield. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, and look at the disdain now. The champ saying, "You don't, you don't have what it takes to hang with me for a title shot." He's looking to end this right now. Big DDT looked cocky right in the face. Looks like Mordem's gonna get the the tag Ooh. out though. No, he doesn't go for it. Oh, mm -hmm. dangerous ground, Mordem. But he thinks he's got an advantage here. <laughs> he fucking doesn't. <laughs> Satterfield, I don't know if you missed it, but you are going to SummerSlam. You've got a title shot against the fucking rats. We don't know what the stipulation is going to be or who else is going to be in that match, but we do know one thing. Top rope Johnny and Snackerfield himself are going to SummerSlam. Glorious. And also, <laughs> your character has mysteriously tiny feet. And we just <laughs> noticed. Yeah, we just noticed. <laughs> like, like... Like hypnotically tiny feet. <laughs> oh, Another finisher by Finney. <laughs> and the pinfall, he's a long ways away from Cocky. Chunter's in there to protect, but more than him kicks out again. <laughs> and Chunter got the swinging neck breaker on Cocky. Oh, this this match has it all, Jim. Unbelievable, isn't it? And I tell you what, I think that's one of the big things of the the, rat, the fucking rats. They always seem to be on top of the uh, interference, don't they? They're yeah. always cutting people off or getting in there on their own yeah. ones. They're really good at that. But Moridan As... is just fucking unbeatable, isn't he, it seems? He will not give yeah. up. As stupid as the fucking rats look, they are pretty goddamn smart. They know a lot about tag team matches. And it seems like the longer a match goes, the better they get. <laughs> It absolutely does. And look at this, Moridan, pissing blood. <laughs> Wearing the crimson mask. And now he's about to get another double foot. Yep. Well, we've seen a lot of these today. I think Finney really needs to continue on and hit that coup de gras to finally put Moridam away. No help coming. It's all on Moridam here. SummerSlam waiting for him. He kicks out. He's still in this, folks. This is ridiculous. He just will not lose. He will not lose. Really. He refuses to lose. Eyes on the prize, Jim, and for once it's not a pair of testicles for Mordem. And here comes that coup de gras, I think. Yep. Yep, here we go. Oh. No counter coming. No help coming. Pin in. This is going to be it. Fucking be rats. It. And they win it. The fucking rats win it. Cock and ball torture. Fall in the end. What a match. But my word, the, the fucking rats, as always, step it up in a big spot. And I think that might spell disaster for Cock and Ball to Torture for their SummerSlam hopes. But I don't think that means much for their future because I think we're going to see a round three between these two teams, tag team belts or not. Yeah, that was that was an unbelievably good performance from the fucking rats. Maybe their greatest performance of all time, and they've had some good ones. They certainly have. A lot of their match wins, to be fair, have been in those multi-man ladder matches. 
where it doesn't matter how good or bad they've been, if they get up the ladder in the end, they get the win. This was as pure a tag team victory as you'll see in the JFW. And boy, I can't take anything away from their competition either. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Well, tag team, tag team division seems to shape up. We know it's going to be the fucking rats versus the unnatural snackers. Who knows what else is to come? But here we've got Ardvac, the money in the ass contract holder versus Tony plays poorly with Mighty AF in his corner and not in the ring. This is the closest thing to, <laughs> to a fair match Ardvac has had in a long time. And look, Jim, I got to tell you, he's going into Sunday. He has to put his contract for the money in the ass on the line against Table Leg Wanger in an absolute disgrace of a decision by the upper management. And uh, I, if I were him, I would be thinking about cashing in right here and now on the world heavyweight champion if he gets the advantage. Really hard to do, though, with Mighty AF sitting outside the ring. Easily can come in to protect Tony if they need to. Absolutely, yeah. That's that really protecting him from the, uh, from the uh, money in the ass contract there. And, uh, you know, you say it's a travesty. I don't know. I mean, I'd like... <laughs> is Ardvac a draw? Is Ardvac going to put bums on seats? I don't know. Is Table Leg a fine figure of a man? Six foot nine? Yes, he is. <laughs> He's box office, so I think it's only fair that he gets his shot. <laughs> And he's not bringing his uh, money in the US contract for some reason. I don't know why. Well, that might be Ardvac sending a message knowing, you know what? You know, he's a light heavyweight. He is in the Chaos Chosen Championship uh, division. Uh, probably knows he's not going to get his shot at Rick. That's one reason we haven't seen that money in the ass come into play. Rick hasn't been around to cash in on. So next tier would be the world heavyweight championship that Tony plays poorly is about to bring out to the ring. But I think Ardvac might be just a bit frustrated with these all these turns of events recently, saying, you know what, I have a shot here. I could cash in right here and now and table leg wanger be damned, but I'm gonna win this match clean. I'm gonna win my match on Sunday clean. And then I'll see what belt I want to take. Yep. <laughs> and again, as we pointed out, this would be a really tough spot to try and cash in. Two other men there to protect Tony plays poorly on that cash in. Absolutely. And no, it hasn't already been stolen from him. Best. <laughs> he just didn't <laughs> ring it for some reason. Oh boy. I mean, who knows? He might have gotten last minute words that he wasn't allowed to bring it out to ringside in an effort by the upper management to ensure that that contract was available on Sunday. We don't know. We can't know some of those inner workings of Mr. Jim McMahon because neither of us are in his head. Right, Jim? That's absolutely correct. Yes, we, we must defer to the great Mr. Jim McMahon. Um, That's right, yeah. we must defer to the Jims McMahon. <laughs> the fantastic leader of our organization who is, you know, above us all. Absolutely, and while my co-commentator's name is, Miss, is also Jims McMahon, that has nothing to do with our upper management. It's quite clear and easy to follow, and if you can't, you must be a fucking idiot. <laughs> Absolutely. And also, Gorilla Mezzo has nothing to do with Gorilla Mezzo and Jim's McMahon. Yeah, but I don't know why anyone would mistake that. <laughs> yeah, Speaking Jim's of, McMahon, Mezzo, Mr. Jim's one McMahon. of the greatest competitors in the JFW of all time. <laughs> oh, Maybe not so much in the ring, but definitely backstage. We're going to see Skuramezzo versus Leb Red Mask in a backstage brawl. The Friday fuckboy sick of my commentary about how terrible and uneven he's been as a JFW competitor, deciding to take it out on arguably, inarguably, <laughs> one of my favorite wrestlers in the JFW. <laughs> oh, wow, Hardback just walked away. 
<laughs> yeah. Hardback, you know, again, he has had a rough, he's been put in handicap match after handicap match, softened and pummeled, had a win or had a loss added to his card in a timeout that just made no sense whatsoever. That seemed like some asshole was making that decision on the fly without <laughs> consulting anyone else. But that was the decision that was made, and Ardvac lost that match for whatever reason. He's got to be furious with these, with all these events, but he has performed admirably every single time. He's got to have a little bit of confidence, too. He might just be thinking, you know what? Let them throw all this bullshit at me. It's going to make my win over Table Leg Wanger on Sunday that much sweeter. And I don't know, that's a tall task because Wanger is one hell of a competitor. But Ardvac has yet to back down. Yeah, to be fair, Ardvac has been super tough. I mean, maybe it's that body armor with Please Don't Hurt Me written on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, will, I will have to concede that point to you, Jim. <laughs> Allowing someone to come in in body armor, protective body armor like that, is pretty un unbelievable in a in a wrestling competition. You know, we've got a guy like the Kurgle, but his armor is steel plate. It's not modern. It's not protective. He's wearing protective flak armor, some of the safest stuff you can put your body in, I assume. <laughs> yeah. And if it wasn't, why doesn't the U.S. military? put their soldiers in full plate armor anymore. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Two more after this one, Captain. We Man. have a backstage brawl and then our amazing four-way elimination main Ooh. event. Oh, my God. Nearly broke the whole ring there, Arvac. What an amazing suplex. He's doing well, isn't he, to be fair? Yeah, Arvac. I mean, again... We haven't seen him on equal footing in a very long time, and it's hard to find equal footing for a guy that goes to wrestle in sandals. But here we are. <laughs> the world champ is fighting against Ardvac, and both of them looking very even right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, he's, he's given a good account of himself, as he always seems to do. Just in time, Ardvac. You are currently up against the world champion. Tony plays poorly. Oh. Boosh. Might be just in time to see uh, see Ardvac lose though, because Tony's uh, Tony's doing pretty uh, being pretty dominant. It's not a handicap, no. It's yeah, no dude. handicap in this one. It's a one-on-one -on -one match. Mighty AF is ringside, right. but they are not involved in this match. No. Oh. Big neck breaker. Tony, you can tell that the uh, you can tell that the uh, stunner is close, can't you? Oh, These... look at this though! That split leg suplex, Brilliant, really stretching it? Tony out there. And now Ardvac, absolutely on fire right now. Tony does not. Tony just lost the the opponent that he was been scouting for at least a week for his title defense on Sunday. Now he's got to worry about four men to pick from from an elimination match later tonight. Yeah, he's in a tough spot, is Tony. Yeah, he's got a lot on his plate too. So, you know, both these competitors with just ample distractions to, to make this match that much harder, but they're both the kind of guy that wants to come away with a win at all costs. They, well, I guess Tony's a give up sometimes kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Completely refuting my own point there instantly. But. <laughs> uh, you don't need the game, no, Benny uh, Benny Bobs. It is it is just the AI playing, and you don't need the game at all, no. I'll I'll just make you up. Imagine. Yeah, we make the characters. They're usually terrible unless we you know know that you give Jim a lot of money, or. Um, <laughs> Have a uh, a long-standing relationship with the uh, the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> yeah, that's generally that's generally how it goes. <laughs> uh, B Benny Bobs, you found us via Rick's channel, right? Yeah, I, I believe you came over when Rick raided us once. Is that correct? Yeah, I haven't I hadn't even played the game for about two months, Bezel. After making all those characters, I basically stopped. 
after trying to get Royal Rumbles to not freeze and getting frustrated. But I recently fired it up today and ran a successful Royal Rumble test. Yeah. So I think if we can figure something out, if we if we're still doing this in goddamn January, <laughs> when the Royal Rumble starts up. Uh, which I kind of hope we are, because it's going pretty well. Yeah. I'd like to at least do a complete year to WrestleMania, you know? Yeah, I really uh, hope so. But uh, what we might have to do is pre-record the Rumble so we don't risk it freezing on stream. Yeah. Um, and if we can get a complete 20-man, we probably won't be able to get a 30-man, but if we can get a complete 20-man, we can run a Rumble and just run it as a, as a recording. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Uh, can someone get that list of Benny Bobs? It's Benny Bobs! Exclamation point JFW. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, Tony on the uh, on the comeback trail. Yep, and this match oh. still very even. There's that Luthes press. Frost Lord likes what he sees, so does Clavius <laughs> and his weird ass eyebrows, I assume, even <laughs> though he's facing away from the camera. <laughs> Tony can't believe it. I feel like Clavius is standingly, uh, standing awkwardly close and behind Frostlord. <laughs> he is, yeah. <laughs> like, if someone was standing behind me cheering, I'd be really upset. Yeah. Oh, and there's the stunner. Stunner. Oh, this stunner. could be over. Ardvac, one of the more resilient wrestlers in the JFW, but that's one of the most high-impact moves. <laughs> and sure enough, Tony plays poorly. I think two weeks of utter beatdowns and unfair matchups has finally caught up to Ardvac, and he just lost to the world champion. No contract in sight. We're not seeing a cash in tonight, folks. And that means on Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC, we are going to see Table Leg Wanger versus Ardvac for the Money in the Ass contract, and that contract guarantees a title shot at any time. So that's going to be a big match. Oh! Oh look no! Ardvac's got an injury. And look at this, Ardvac taking an injury going into this match. Oh, that oh, is wow. a terrible time to take an injury. Brilliant. Unless you're, you know, booking dramatic storylines, and then it's amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. And yeah, this is could... SummerSlam here. It's on the screen now. As you can see, that's a fantastic poster made by uh, Jimmy Fantastic himself or James McMahon or somebody. Somebody made it, and, and I think they're pretty happy with it, and that's pretty good. You can see yeah, everybody all there. Of, all of the champions involved and Calcium and McNaughton. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then the... <laughs> Big storylines coming to a head at SummerSlam. It's a, it's probably the second or third biggest show of the year on any wrestling calendar. Uh, so you know this is going to be the end of the arcs, and then we're going to be starting fresh throughout the month of August. So we hope you all stick around for it. And what is going on now? I think we're going to go backstage and find Scaramezzo versus... Oh, Red wait Red a Mask. minute. Wait, what? That's oh no! Something else is going on. Where's Scarrow? Where's Where's Lebron? Oh no! We gotta get. Well, it looks like it looks like a brawl has has broken out between McNaughton and Calcium. McNaughton's gotta be furious, hunting down Calcium this time. He lost his world title match. He's driving his head under his kilt here, and it looks like we're getting Calcium McNaughton the preview. Us br backstage brawl after Calcium's dominant performance last week. Can he do it again? <laughs> oh, this is I, his dojo. <laughs> it sounds like the bread masker Matzo has been erased from the card tonight. Card is always subject to change in the JFW, but I think we're still going to get a uh, pretty decent backstage brawl, not on the level of the master like Scaramezzo, <laughs> but these two have a hell of a lot more history and a hell of a lot more fire than LeBred Mask could ever bring to any match. So here we go. <laughs> oh, that pile driver God. right onto the concrete. Devastating. Oh, Ridge is that, wasn't it? Holy and shit. McNaughton surprising Calcium this time, firmly in control of this match right now. This unsanctioned brawl. Can't even call it a match. <laughs> and Calcium desperately fighting back here. Oh, beautiful maneuver. Gets the takedown. 
and that <laughs> huge right forearm staggers oh staggers McNaughton and now oh, McNaughton boy. suddenly in a lot of trouble oh that arm drag counter though these two are so evenly matched former tag team partners never showed an ounce of unity between them <laughs> the, the closest thing you can say to uh, any sort of any sort of unity they had is uh, how they treat the lonely lady Wendy. <laughs> oh, oh, another one of those uh, interesting chokehold drops, whatever you want to call it. And Calcium calling for it. He's feeling it. He is fired oh, wow. up. Oh, look at this. Yeah, he he's ready. He's got so much more to do. <laughs> oh, the double axe handle. He catches him, hurts himself in the process. But he did the damage, and he's back on his feet. <laughs> Antsy, <laughs> stop spoiling things, Antsy. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I actually think I jokingly once said something similar to Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Brutal knees here. Yep. Oh, he gets that full range there. It's like a run-up foul. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, this is, pretty, this is pretty even, isn't it? Not like the last yeah, time. Yeah. Not like the well, last you know, one. I think McNaughton last week may, maybe took uh, Calcium a little bit for granted. And after the several weeks of beatdowns, why wouldn't you? But now he's <laughs> he's got a different fire in him right now. He knows he's got to beat him. He's got to get to SummerSlam and end Calcium's career. Yeah. yeah and Calcium's... doing that, ending his career, stealing his wife, that's how you get revenge <laughs> for canceling a title match. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But Calcium here still drinking it in. McNaughton not stirring. I think one of these guys is dangerously close to losing this unsanctioned backstage brawl with no referee whatsoever. <laughs> oh, savage elbow. Oh, that what? is our uh, master live uh, video editing necropotence. You'll notice any uh, any upskirts will be blurred. <laughs> uh, you you've definitely seen both, Necro. <laughs> oh, and so is that security guard, dude. <laughs> yep. Yeah, absolutely. Getting a good look. Yeah, security guard. Not sure if he should get involved or not. And then he saw that upskirt and was like, "Nah, I'm good." <laughs> Oh, dear. All right, well, I can guarantee you that only Captain Melons is going to be the one getting made, Captain Melons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Morikam. <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tossing him around. Oh, and then... We saw that we saw that fire extinguisher come into play last week. Will it happen again? Yeah. Or will he just stomp the shit out of him? <laughs> He's doing a good job of stomping. Yeah, the fuck also out. effective stomping right on that I Heart Wendy tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what a fucking right hand! Oh god, what a oh kick. that huge that huge kick up there. This is brutal stuff from Carlson yeah, again. Absolutely, I don't. We haven't seen too many backstage brawls go down this uh, corridor. No. I think Finn Balor over there just uh, might be taking a run in a minute. <laughs> he might. Be. I, I assume that's Finn Balor. It sure looks like him. Maybe it's just some local enhancement talent that looks like. Uh, yeah, Finn that Balor. is true. That is true, Muppet Pac Man. <laughs> And Calcium is now fairly dominant on McNaughton in this one. I think this is all but over. Whew. Will we see that Kinshasa knee? Oh, maybe. I will see that Kinshasa dick of <laughs> McNaughton. <laughs> Hello, Papa Piccolo. 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we have no control over who gets uh, who gets the backstage treatment of humorous chimp. They just kind of show up and hang out. Maybe they showed up for a uh, for a tryout or something. Now look at this though, McNaughton trying to come back, and no, sent <laughs> into the wall. Oh, well, this has been brutal. Neither neither man is giving yeah. up. No, absolutely not. But McNaughton, oh, McNaughton just getting ping ponged off the wall there. I, I really think this is close to over one big move, and I think this is done for. Maybe, yeah. And this could be it. Oh, Sends God. him into the other wall, and down he goes. And now we, I think he's calling for the Kinshasa. No, he's not. He's just celebrating. <laughs> I mean, Steps on be, his ass again. To be fair, he smashed his fucking face into the wall. So that's a, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, switch oh, the music. A super kick, though. And now he grabs the chair. McNaughton was playing possum there. Oh, God. Oh, and he just lays it into the... Oh, and onto the head, too. And now going up on top of that equipment box that we stole from the WWE. <laughs> it is Mel Gibson, yeah. <laughs> well, it's McNaughton. Yeah. <laughs> Kayfabe, Jim. Kayfabe. Kayfabe. It's McNaughton, obviously. Oh, and there's Calcium Kaz's uh, social media manager. Just stepping in. <laughs> no, oh, this this was a planned attack by McNaughton, and now oh, oh, this is oh it. now he's feeling it. I think we're getting a Kinshasa. Oh, yep, oh. there's the Kinshasa, and that's it. Calcium puts him down two in a row. Unbelievable. <laughs> Calcium spitting in his face and saying, "I'll see you at SummerSlam, you cunts." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and now it is time for your main event. We just saw McNaughton, who lost his title shot on a whim of Mr. Jim McMahon. One of these four men will be his replacement. Will it be Dave Odontakelis, W.R. Spenny, who recently got some extra help from the crew, but he's out there alone tonight, or Flicky Flack? <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? We've got Dave, who's set the world alight since he's joined. We've got Ordon, the absolute veteran. He's been here since the absolute start of the JFW, the prehistoric German turtle. We've got the WR Spenny, who thunder thighs. He's recently got his backup, Dio and Artemis, and Flicky Flack. That's right, folks, and if you didn't catch the names of all these competitors on one of the last two times in 30 seconds that we just said them, I'll say them one more time for you. We've got Dave, a dog to kill us, W.R. Spenny, and Flicky Flack. <laughs> this is an elimination match, the most exciting match in the JFW. The winner who can outlast the other three men will go on to face Tony plays poorly for the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam this Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC. Oh, yeah. And here you go, former world champ himself, Odonta Kellis. He has been on a he has been on a quest to get that title back, and he just keeps finding stumbling blocks. He coming off of last week's main event against McNaughton, thought he was gonna take it. On two separate occasions, it looked like he had the win, but then Wendy got involved, and eventually Adot was outlasted and beaten by McNaughton. So here he is. He's got to win it to get in it. Odonta Kellis wants one more shot to reclaim his lost glory. Brilliant stuff. Oh, Don Kellis is a prehistoric turtle, Benny Bobs. <laughs> so therefore, that's beast feet. Benny Bobs, my suggestion to you is to just drink it all in in the JFW. There's some weird fucking shit, and the more we explain it, the stupider it sounds. <laughs> and here comes W.R. Spenny, the Welshman himself, and you can tell he's Welsh because of the sheep mask. He recently brought in Artemis Black and the Sniper Jahanian. 
Dionysian. Did I say Jahanian? Di- Dionysian. Sorry, I always think they're the same person, even though one of them's like Canadian. I think <laughs> Dionysian to form the crew, and that's spelled C R capital E W E, as in you, as in sheep, as in whales. <laughs> that's hilarious. Thunder thighs himself, ready for a fight. <laughs> All right, and now the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, it's Dave! (laughs) Dave! (laughs) Dave! <laughs> I, I didn't think you were going to get through that last one without laughing. That's right. And if you don't know Dave's story, he showed up looking like an idiot and having his name be Dave. And it just caught fire with the JFW universe. And he's one of the most beloved icons of professional wrestling in AI video game wrestling. And now here's Flicky Black. <laughs> So Flicky Flack, also a wrestler in the JFW. Is he? Yep. His name's Flicky Flack, and he wears, um, you know, black trunks, kind of a leotard look. Yeah. Oh, and here you go. He's got some pyros to make sure that he looks interesting. Oh, brilliant. Yep. He leads into him with a lot of hype, too. No, oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Just that simple countdown. Pyros. Times it pretty well. And that's <laughs> yeah. Flicky Flack, folks. Could you imagine Flicky Flack as your world heavyweight champion? Because you might have to. He's been on a tear recently. <laughs> he certainly has. <laughs> Dave. Oh, and Dave instantly, the big press by Adon Tekel showing off his strength. <laughs> yeah, that uh, very true, Bezel. Yeah. It is quite noteworthy, you're correct. <laughs> Ooh, big move from Odon there in the middle of the ring. Yeah, and Dave in some trouble here. Every now and then with these eliminations, we see a very early pin. Could this be one? No, just the one count. That isn't just some scrub in the JFW. <laughs> That's Dave. <laughs> I can't, I can't do anything now. <laughs> <laughs> I know Unseen Walker's law on the outside looking in. He was the first one to miss the cut, if I'm being completely honest, when this match was getting booked. <laughs> Dave, this is Extreme Rules, and Dave... Oh, it, it sure is. Dave trying to crack the turtle shell, oh. make some turtle soup there. Instead, he pays for his crimes... And now we'll never see that sledgehammer again. <laughs> Correct. Oh, beautiful suplex. But he might have hurt, done more damage to his own back there than dropping Odon onto his shell. Yep. <laughs> oh, now WR Spenny in trouble here. Flicky Flack with the big suplex. Working him over in the ring now. And Dave smashed off the hardest part of the ring, the apron. Yeah, well, luckily he doesn't have too many teeth to lose from that impact, so he should be okay. And Spenny kicks out. He is still in this match. Who is going to outlast the others? Who is going to SummerSlam? Stay tuned right after these commercials that we're not going to (laughs) air. Here's the spear from Flicky Flack. Oh, look look at this spear coming. Oh, he hits it. That could be it for Spenny. It could be. Oh, Does he pin? No, he doesn't bother pinning him for some reason. Huge. And now, oh, big mistake by Flicky Flack. 
I think he uh, got a, it got his wires crossed trying to celebrate there and look interesting. Got to stick to what you know, Flicky. He <laughs> got the big move. Go for the pin. Oh, God. This is the comeback from Spenny. Huge. And Flicky Flack wisely rolls out. Yep. He's going to take a Flicky nap, I think. <laughs> And now, oh, that shoulder breaker on Dave Spenny taking over for Adonta Kellis. Now Dave getting, yeah, I think oh, these two guys huge. know Dave could be the biggest threat in the ring right now. And Spenny with the pin. No, Adonta Kellis wanted the pin himself. <laughs> Just the two count. Oh, I think Adonta. Oh, I shit, think it's the flat hammer. It sure is. Spenny taking another finisher by Flicky Flack. And surely that's got to be it for him. Well, he's an Adonta bomb. Don't what Spenny done for. WR Spenny is out. Dave taking the Adonta bomb. <laughs> Flicky Flex smelling his ass as he comes down. Oh, stealing <laughs> the pin. Oh, oh Dave, Dave kicks out. I think Flicky Flack had his eyes on getting all three eliminations. Adonta Kellis sat there and watched, and he did not hook the leg hard enough. And now this match still has three men in it when it should only have two. Yeah. Whoa, the ladder coming out, a bold decision by the big man. He is really trying to showcase some sort of personality, some sort of excitement here. And instead, he dropped the ladder on his head. <laughs> and it. Dave coming back, fighting in with all of his heart. Oh, oh no! Larry takes out two. We've never seen that before. Unbelievable! Incredible. Those long arms, those long, boring white arms of Mickey <laughs> Flack. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and there goes his ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, and now Dave in some trouble here. Ooh. Another two count kick out. He needs to get out of the ring and recover. Let Adonta Kellis and Flicky Flack work each other over for a bit. But it doesn't look like he's going to be afforded that opportunity. And now, oh, the counter by Flicky Flack. Oh, uh, oh, no, maybe this is exactly what we're getting. Here comes Flicky Flack. Yeah. Oh, Dante and Flicky. Okay, Dave's got to run and hide for a bit. <laughs> no. Does the opposite. Heart of a champion is Dave. <laughs> and now, all three men brawling it out. Yeah, this, this is one's intense. gonna. Oh, oh, old school. He's Flicky just trying everything to get over. Knows <laughs> if he's gonna win that title and not have it just stripped instantly for one of Team Fantastic, he's going to have to show the upper management that he is an exciting champion. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Don nearly got him. Oh, big boot oh. from Dave. Yep. Oh, and now oh, Don's a ringside. This there could be a. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's elimination. Dave, Dave in some big trouble here. Did not get that breather. Breather he desperately needed. He could find any breeder he wanted. I'm sure because he's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh, the strength. no, the military oh. press into the slam. Incredible. And Dave might be going out right now to a sharpshooter. We've never seen that in matches before, Jim. I think we might have done, you know. Really? Yeah. Well, technically, it wouldn't end this match, so. <laughs> no. Oh, he's uh, doing a little swim. He's in the <laughs> ring. But he's not Dave going swimming. <laughs> but he's not giving up, and now... Oh, Dante Kellis wisely rolling him up <laughs> and letting him go for some reason. Oh, oh the spine buster. buster. Oh, Dante I think we are lining up for a Dante Kellis versus Tony Plays Poorly version three. <laughs> I think Flicky Flags won with it once. One time, I think he's won with the. Uh... Oh, oh, what right. a counter! Oh, beautiful arm drag counter there. Adonta Kellis, he's been here before, folks. He's He's got more experience than these other two combined. And here comes the Adonta Bomb to put away. No! Dave breaking it up. Unbelievable. Must think he can cherry pick Flicky Flack if he can just get an advantage on Adonta Kellis here. Dave in a dominant position. 
Steve with a huge elbow to Flicky Frank and now four fists to the yeah, face. Yeah, that's true. That's true, champ. You're you're absolutely right. I know Thaw used to do it all the time and never win matches with it. Yeah, co Cocky's ended many people with it. Yeah. 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 I just I forgot about that. Oh, the big DDT on Dave. A quick roll up. Ref on the count. Oh, this is it. Oh, no. Dave kicks out. <laughs> Fan Fox has won with the, uh, the, in fact, beat Satterfield on like Monday. Right? Yeah, you're right. Okay, I I misspoke. No <laughs> one gives a shit about this. No one gives a shit about the sharpshooter. If you think it's that dominant, you should request it as your finisher and see how often it works out for you. <laughs> oh, oh, he's my picked up God. a weapon that was already there and I drives know. it and into goes right dozen. after the giant fucking feet and instantly throws it out of the ring. Unbelievable. Yeah, the flag hammer, that literal the sledgehammer. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. This is it, oh. the Adonabon. The Adonta bomb on Flicky Flack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, Flicky! Flicky's got a kicky. <laughs> and here comes Dave. I don't know why he'd break this up. He doesn't. No. Oh, and there goes Flicky Flack. Oh, oh, the oh, the rock bottom by Dave! Unbelievable! <laughs> he had him lined up. He was waiting. Could this be? Could this be the greatest <laughs> moment? In JFW history! Oh! Ah, oh! <laughs> oh, Dave! Dave almost had him! He gets tied up in the ropes! Oh, what action! Dave with the big stomp! Adonta Kellis can barely stay in this now! He's got a press of his advantage! Come on, Dave! The JFW universe is firmly in your corner! Nothing against the former champ, Adonta Kellis! But you gotta love the new blood. You gotta love the underdog story. And that's the pasty white gimp, Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> oh, and he's giving oh, him a massage. Lovely. Giving him that massage. <laughs> you know, this would be a travesty. <laughs> yeah, that would be awful, wouldn't it? <laughs> Dave is just a pasty white man. <laughs> oh god that was like a that was like a fucking jackhammer wasn't it it was it was and that could be oh! oh the last second kick out by dave but he is in some serious trouble he let a dawn back in this and now he's gonna have to save himself if he wants to go to SummerSlam. there's that sledgehammer could it come into play a third time oh boy <laughs> yeah. Oh. The counter by Dave, and now it's on. He's got a shot, folks. Dave has a shot. This would be shocking if he could win this match. <laughs> Incredible. After getting speared and bumped the bond and everything. Oh, Fuck. it's looking grim, though. It is. He's the experience of, of the former champ really paying off here, just wearing down the bigger man, targeting that shin now. Without a shin, you can't do things like play soccer and wear shin pads. I speak with the voice of the JFW Universe Muppet Pac-Man, oh. and I know the JFW Universe is rallying behind Dave! <laughs> Dave! Getting manhandled. Yeah, he's getting absolutely trashed by Adonta Kellis right now. But if he can come back, the win will taste all the sweeter. But will he have anything left? Will either of these men have anything left for SummerSlam after all of these matches? I mean, Adonta Kellis coming off of just a marathon match. Oh, there's another finisher by, by Dave, but he's not in the ring. He can't get the pinfall. Mm. That could cost him dearly. Yeah, the big Dave slam on the outside of the ring, no good. 
Oh, but he's still fighting. He's got the heart of a champion, but maybe the brains of not a guy who's in the ring to win the match. Oh, but he's all done with the all done the bum on the outside as well. Oh, dear. And now Dave going to take some significant damage, but again, no pinfall. Anything could happen here. Oh, boy. Oh, but Odon's getting him back in the ring after destroying uh, him again, with the Odon the, the champion's experience. I think this is it, folks. It could be. I think we're going to see a pinfall here. Yeah. And there it is. Adonta Kellis outlasts Dave <laughs> and gets the win. He's going to SummerSlam. We are going to see Tony plays poorly versus Adonta Kellis for the World Heavyweight title round three. <laughs> yeah, finally. I mean, I, I think Ordon has felt hard, hard done by after that loss in hell in a shell. And now he's finally going to get another chance at the title. Absolutely. Well, this one could be the deciding Glorious. one. We'll see no, on Sunday, 8 p.m. UTC, like right here I'm on Twitch. Um, if you need to get I caught up on um, any of that action, head your way you over to YouTube or hit JimmyFantastic.com. And you can catch all of the JFW action from the previous few months. My name is Gorilla Mezzo, and my voice is about to give out. So I will see you all at SummerSlam on Sunday. Thanks for having me as always, Jim. Glorious. Thank you very much as always, Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you very much for staying fantastic Unseen Walker for two whole years, six whole beaver pregnancies. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.